Friends, hello. What do we even talk about here? Man, the market has just sucked. When is this thing gonna catch up here, man? Something's gotta change. I was like, do I even talk about anything today? So what do I talk about? I thought, let's talk about BBIG here. Venco Ventures. And the reason I wanna talk about Venco Ventures is because it's December and we know December is the date when they are supposed to release news. They're supposed to start talking to investors. They've got to do something for people here. Because at this point, they have pretty much sold a bag of goods to investors here. And now we, the investors, are wanting to see Something happened here with this merger, with the company, what they plan on doing, and you know, let's talk about that. So first off, the stock itself, obviously, you know, what 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 do I not need to say here to say here? It's not been doing good. And the last time I talked about this, I, I said, look, listen, you're probably gonna hate what I have to say here because you know, back in September, I was very bullish on this stock because I was believing what the company was telling us what they were going to be doing, but they kept pushing this merger back, they kept pushing back what they were gonna do, and now investors are paying for that situation. Now we're seeing that uh, you know this has turned into a $3 stock, and obviously at this point, we were hoping to be sitting at a $5 to $7 mark, bid price minimum, but you know what, that is not the case at all. When making, like you know, last time I talked about this, I said this is probably gonna continue to plummet until we can get into December here, and we're gonna be holding on to every dollar we can here going into December, waiting for this company to talk about what's gonna be happening next, and if this merger is actually gonna take place. And we've just seen the stock slowly, slowly lose 50 to 60 cents here, every month from when it really fell here from a you know seven dollar range in october going to that five to four dollar mark and you know since then we we have just not been able to keep up here so obviously there's not a lot to look at when it comes to the actual stock volume has just been man the stock has been surviving as much as it can i mean let's be honest here from what we can see the biggest thing right now this company has to move forward. It has to show investors some good positive news with the merger, the next quarterlies that will be coming out, and that we know that this company, BBING here, reported back in August of 65.5 million outstanding shares, and now it's 107 million outstanding shares as of September 30th. So quite a big jump there. So friends, here's what I'm gonna say at the end of this. I've made so many videos about this company, breaking it down, going into the whole LumaFit situation, what they plan on doing here in the future, all that stuff. Like I've always said, I'm very bullish on this company if it can get its act together here. And you know, December is kind of like the deadline. If it does not come out here this month in December, clarifying what it's gonna do with this merger deal, then this stock is obviously gonna plummet even more. But if it does come out with this merger deal, I'm very hopeful that we can see this survive into a five to $7 bid price if investors still trust to invest in this right now. So friends, with all that said, remember, be positive, be you, take time, invest in your future, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, everyone. Hey.